Hey, can I interest you in a keyboard that does literally everything? Sure, can it suck? Suck your what? No, it can't suck your What do you even do that? Think about it. Oh, okay, I see your point. Maybe it could try. That's what I thought. But no, it can't suck your What if I told you it has Hall effect switches, an 8K polling rate, does every single feature that all the fancy keyboards do, and it's about half the price? Okay, I'm listening. Okay, that's what I thought. Next time, find one that can suck my d this is the Magra 68 Ultra by Lumen Key. It's an AK polling rate Hall Effect keyboard that has every single feature and tweak that you can make in its software. And not to mention that the software is actually browser based, which is goaded. One less thing to install on your PC that people want to run in the background, right? I've been using this for a week solid straight. It's one of the top contenders for the best keyboards I've used so far, but I'm going to say contender and not winner because there are still better keyboards out there for this price point. Now it does some things right. It does have really nice Hall Effect switches, a very nice sound, gasket mounted frame, all aluminum body, PVT keycaps, and really good and quiet. But it has its bad sides too, like key chatter, like all Hall effects kind of suffer for. And I don't see that mentioned enough, by the way, being only wired so you don't have that many connection options with this. But regardless, we're gonna take a look at this keyboard, use it, test it, let you know how it feels and if it's worth the extra price they're asking for. It may be lacking in some places on the physical aspect, but it can do a ton of stuff when you start digging, like switch between four different profiles using the function and right shift and one through four options, set dead zones to go even more accurate than 0.1 millimeters, rapid trigger, continuous quick trigger, rappy snappy, snappy tappy, dynamic key path, hold versus click actions, toggle key, OKS, entire key remapping, including the multiple layers of all the different RGB effects, macros, even the tick rate, anti-shake, and finally, their polling rate. This list is absolutely massive. It makes this keyboard completely versatile to suit literally any scenario you can think of. Normally, I write this off as some sort of overloaded and way too many options, but it has two T's in this scenario. This has multiple profiles. So if there's a game, a situation, or something else in your life, maybe for WoW or RuneScape guys or gals out there, where you need to do some smart functions with how you press and how far you deep press, you can set that up and still go back to your default mode with a quick three button combo. It's pretty genius. Aside from the software though, let's dig into the hardware here and we'll work away from the outside in. This features high quality PVT keycaps with super crisp characters and an intricate design. They mix and match these PVT keycaps with these transparent polycarbonate keycaps with the escape key and the arrow keys that really give it a distinct look everyone can be a fan of. The case itself is also fully made of aluminum and, and they did a great job with the curves, the logo, and all the edges involved. Now, I don't always enjoy taking apart my keyboards, but in this case, I do it for you guys. So let's see what's inside and see how they did with the overall build. Taking it apart is actually super simple, just lifting off the screws and the whole back comes right off. As you can see, there's this really nice looking silicone on the bottom that you just aren't gonna get many keyboards and that offers the best sound dampening in my opinion. But they didn't stop there with the silicone. No, they actually made the gaskets silicone as well that the keyboard sits on in between the frame and the plate. And if you look really closely, they actually put silicone in between the PCB and the plate as well. So they have three layers of silicone, making this thing sound absolutely perfect. And it's really reflected in the sound test later on in the video. So it's just super simple to put apart. You just put the screws back on, put everything back on top of each other and, oh crap, no, where did it go? Getting back to the real world, how does this perform in the work environment or for games? Well, I'm happy to report that it does a decent job in the gaming department with its myriad of features. You can really set this up to play however you want. AK polling rate means zero delay. Any games, you can be just as quick, slow, or complicated as humanly possible. And there's not really a whole lot it can't do. I also really do like the switches. They're decently smooth, but kind of squishy, although very light with a super short press overall. Despite that, it's not my favorite keyboard for work typing. And that kind of goes for all Hall Effect keyboards. They're just always a little too sensitive, which results in mistypes more so than normal on a normal keyboard. The office setting does help reduce this kind of a little bit, but my typos always seem more prevalent on all Hall Effect keyboards. And the switches sit at 36 grams of operating force. I'm gonna say something very unpopular for a second. This uses north facing switches. Yeah, you heard me. These are north facing switches and with profile keycaps, you're 
been running into some interface issues with how key presses that will cause some issues with the overall sound profile and feel. Here's a switch with a cherry profile keycap when the oriented north facing, and now here it is with the south facing. See how the paper catches in between? Yeah, that's why it's not an ideal setup. It also kind of makes getting keycaps for this kind of difficult because you are limited to OEM or higher when Cherry really is the best profile for gaming and work. But with that all being said, the sound is pretty heavily. If you'd like to check out the Lumen Key Magger 60HE, all the links will be in the description down below. And if you want to check out more keyboard reviews, check out this playlist. Uh, I'll post it right here. There's plenty more where that came from too.